Heck yes, we're out here at the beach and well, let me just say, it's actually not that cold. In fact, it's probably going like this, but you know, I do like the color because we've got such a white background. But believe it or not, it's supposed to be 100 degrees in Los Angeles today, but out at the beach, you've got a cold front coming over here, so it's not quite as warm as you would probably guess. But for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I know, I'm sitting here looking. Do you need, I think I need sunglasses? No, I don't think so. Oh, I was wearing those. I could have done it without them, right? That's right. And Democrats seek to own Occupy, own Occupy Wall Street movement as arrest continues in the trash of cities and now going after homes where people live. Oh, I know. They said SEIU joined this morning. I I'm going to tell Red Hume and the people over at Fox that are in the tank for the President of the United States, which obviously know. Well, this can't possibly work. We don't understand why they're doing it. Well, let's see. That's how the Democrats do things. And he was a community organizer. That's how they do things. And he doesn't care whether it works. It basically will drive people away from voting. And that's all he cares about. He's got, he's got the election in bag and he's trying to seal it up. I know. I know. A year in advance. Yep. And immigrants fearing deportation make plans for kids. Well, yeah, because they got, okay, they were here illegally. The kids were born here, which means the kids can stay and they have to go. The problem is Obama is not going to allow the deportations to happen, even though the appeals court have already said the President of the United States has advocated his job, and Eric Holder is, you know, is in trouble. So, I mean, this, this, this morning it looks like they're going to file subpoenas on Holder on uh, on a civil, a civil rights commission, make them out the charges of justice and justice for Are you serious? It seems that he has hired uh, hired a lot of black extremists to be lawyers for the civil for the justice department in violation of the law. They're supposed to be uh, justices blind and not in his justice department. And Sweden's trans tra trans trauma wins two thousand eleven Nobel Literature Prize. You know, they said well, this is another one of these brilliant things. The book hasn't been in print for twenty years. Oh what? How do you win a book uh, uh, the Nobel Literature Prize when your book can't even be found? It's not even on How in the world does that happen? It can't. It just means that, well, we thought it was an important topic and the world needs... They're no longer living up to the standards. They're now making political statements with people like two, the three, two women from Libya and a woman from Yemen got the Peace Prize. Women have nothing to do with that stuff for their folks. What in the world are they doing with the Nobel Prize? I mean, it, yeah, they did on that one. Well, I guess it just shows that uh, things do change. And murder suspect takes road trip. Yeah, they know what it is. <laughs> I love that. Because the fact is, a suspect is a suspect until they charge him. So therefore, they're legally entitled to do anything they wish to do. I mean, like this morning, they, they said they are now, they're going to arrest the woman over the loss of her kid, which is, they said, well, that's normal. You, you always uh, go after the family, and then if the family is found not to be guilty, then you say, well, we're sorry for destroying your life. Mm -hmm. Influential Texas pastor calls Romney a cultist. Oh, yeah, this morning, um, you know, basically they said, everybody knows that the Mormonism is a fake type thing. You know, the Book of Mormon was found in a tree, and no one has ever actually seen the Book of Mormon. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like Scientology. It's there. Nobody really cares. September report: the best jobs-related news of the week ago. No, I mean, this morning, I'm going to give this is a good example of how they're how things are being misused. Every company that is filing their reports today for the third quarter tanked. I mean, they, they, they missed their expectations by tons of money, and the stock market goes on it because it's just, um, it's all phony anymore, phony news. I mean, it, uh, you determine, you know, like they said, well, the, 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 it will never hit what it was when George Bush was president, under this president, but it will bounce back and forth between um, a second recession and a and, and, and double dip. And six strategies for dealing with an underwater mortgage. Well, yeah. First of it, you get the government to you get the government to uh, give it. Another one is you sue the banks, saying that you were victimized by give, you were giving a loan that they knew you couldn't afford. They said nothing has to do with responsibility for what they did. It's all blaming the banks for doing everything. And Syrian colonel war is the only way to topple President Assad Reuter. Yeah. 
because that uh, he basically that this is not uh, this is not Egypt. Uh, well, because the problem is in in uh, Syria, the people that are in charge of Syria are of the same Muslim sect that Obama is. So he's well, he's saying that we can't have them in power. He's not going to help overthrow them either. Oh, really? And six strategies for dealing with an underwater mortgage. I know she liked that one so much. Uh, well, I know because it is. It's important. Syrian colonel, the war is the only way to, oh, and study says vitamins could increase a woman's risk of dying. I love that one. Didn't what? Didn't think that are healthy for you, it can kill you. Where in the world did they get that? Uh, the Obama administration. Obama administration, okay, I heard this last night. Obama is not a socialist, and the Democratic Party is not a socialist. They just believe in one government in charge of one bank, in charge of one business system, and in charge of one employed force and one health system. That's called socialism. Oh. According to the books it is. And Occupy Wall Street protests wrinkle the rich. Yeah, because, uh, here's one. I, I heard this this morning, the Democrats. Well, that everyone knows, it's a, it's a proven fact, that the wealthy do not contribute to buying anything. That the wealthy do not spend their money to buy their own. Oh, is that right? And they said it will only hurt, it will only hurt one in sixty thousand Americans. And then that's been turned back on the You mean one in sixty thousand Americans is paying all of the taxes? This well, no. I said that only one in America, one in sixty thousand, is not paying their fair share. The guy said, "Oh, you mean they're not paying for the other fifty percent to sit there and say they're not paying your fair share?" And he said, "Well, that's not what I said." <laughs> well, they give their own statistics. They said that. Um, uh, okay, our law is very specific. You cannot like, you cannot put the burden of anything upon a minority. So in, in, by doing this so-called taxes and stuff without fair representation, they're violating the Constitution again. I know. Did you hear that? We can hear foghorns in the background. I know. I know. This is kind of cool. The oldest living former governor in America dies at age 101. The governor, actually. They live forever. Oh, do they? And Rangers went on Wild Graham Slam MMLB playoff scoreboard. I know. Well, they did a grand slam. They basically, they're all wondering where all the, okay, they scored all their runs in one inning. And they said that that's sort of unbelievable. The Rangers do not have that kind of power to, uh, to uh, hit a grand slam like three out of four runs in the same inning. Yeah. They, they suspect that one was not sort of, they said something was wrong with that one. It, it, that, that inning did not pass the smell test for anybody. And veteran skydiver and student die in accident. Oh yeah, the, you know, basically the, uh, what happened was uh, they they were doing a, a tandem jump and the parachutes didn't open. Uh, I wouldn't jump with a past guy in my life. Really? That's the only way I would jump because I can't do it the other way. Well, I couldn't. I've done it the other way. No fun doing it the other oh, way. Oh really? Yeah. And Via Garosa donor faces fines up to one hundred and eighty four thousand dollars. What is that gonna stop you from donating money to Via Garosa in the next campaign? Oh, which is that everybody knows that Via Garosa supports the Occupy Los Angeles. We were getting news items about the fact that they wanted to come and contribute to the Occupy Los Angeles. And the poorest business in the city of Los Angeles to start hiring people. Well, uh no. <laughs> no. And people with autism don't care what others. I know you don't know what others think. People think. So. Okay, you care. <laughs> what autism is all about? Okay, you might, here's what my grandmother was. Uh, my grandmother was trained to be a doctor in Ireland, but couldn't become one because it didn't allow it. So she became a nurse. My grandmother said, "Autism is just another way of saying I don't want to do a damn thing. You can't make it." Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I wonder how many people develop autism, aut autism after that. I know. It's the same people that I have a, I have reading disorder. I have to have someone else do all of my reading. And a guy's got an Academy Award and a bunch of Emmys for writing and like a, a, a Pulitzer Prize for writing. Yeah, these other people are doing the reading. Yeah, that's Yeah. And DOJ launches crackdown on California marijuana dispensaries. I mean, you can pass state statutes, federal statutes, when it comes to things like that, overrule because they're transporting the stuff in. Uh, okay, people are driving, people are flying, people are driving buses, trains. In California, it's legal, but uh, it's not legal to kill somebody. 
Hmm. Animonte bubbleism from the March Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, you know a politician is in a tank for another politician when they do everything that is possible to get that politician elected, just actually go to the polls and vote for him. 